Hello? A lot of people that make films using DSLRs often shoot handheld using only their hands. This is practical because then you can move quickly around and change camera angles. However, a lot of times you probably get a lot of shaky footage and that doesn't look good in a film. To solve this, you could buy a shoulder rig like this one or a Steadicam. Then you can create some smooth and stable shots even though we are shooting handheld. And if you have a lot of time on set and want to be really creative, then you could buy a dolly or a slider like this one. This is a small slider, but it's really nice and, can, and you can do a lot of stuff. So uh, I think we should figure out how this one works. Let's see. The slider is from camera.com. It's quite small, but you can use it in different ways. If you just want to make a short movement, you can mount it on a tripod. If you are using a heavy camera, you can mount it on two tripods to make it stable. You can also use the wheels for longer movements with the camera. Or turn the wheels for rotating shots. You can also place the slider on a flat surface and screw down four little stands to use it in another way. In other words, this is a really practical rig. It's not very long, however, a tiny movement to a shot can make a huge difference. Let's look at some footage I shot with this slider. I want to demonstrate the effect of having a movement to the shot versus not having it. This is shot only using a tripod. And this is shot using a small movement with a slider. And if you are pro, you can also do a focus change while moving the camera for more effect. This is a shoulder rig from photographyandcinema.com. It's quite light, but still it feels really solid. Just as the shoulder rig I made, you are able to mount the camera in front of your face, so it's possible to see the SD screen and to use a viewfinder. You can easily mount a follow focus and other equipment. With a practical friction arm, you can place for example a microphone or a light in the angle you want and then lock it in place. You don't have a counterweight on this shoulder rig, but you can either make one yourself or use other equipment to compensate the weight. There are three reasons for why you should buy a shoulder rig. First of all, it gives you the opportunity to shoot handheld using lenses without image stabilizers, like the Canon 50mm with aperture 
Second, you can mount on all of your equipment, so it's much easier to film by yourself. And third of all, and probably the most important, you look professional. Which one of these camera guys would you hire for your film? I received a lot of questions about where to buy some nice and cheap film gear, such as the follow focus, which usually is really expensive. Actually, I never had a good answer for this, but then I found camera.com. They sell some nice equipment for a really cheap price, so you should check it out. It's really great for us indie filmmakers. If you've seen our film, The Invisible Gun 4, you've probably noticed the effect of using a Steadicam. Actually, the whole film was shot using a handheld Steadicam. To see the film, just press the link in the top of the description. Oh, okay. Uh, vänta, jag ska bara ta med filmutstyret. Okej, okay, bye bye guys. <laughs>